Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Got a fun card project to share with you today featuring some really fun dies and a stamp that I'm going to promptly cover up from Concord and Knife. It'll all make sense and to see how this card comes together, stick around. That video is coming up next. Here's a look at the stamps and dies that I am going to be using to create this card project today. And I'm very excited to play with this for the first time because this is the idea. You're going to make an envelope, right, with florals blooming out of it, but the envelope is small enough that it can fit on a card front. Now, one thing I love about Concord and Ninth, you can just follow what they have on here. But what I'm going to do is work with some grays and I think I'm going to do a bunch of die cutting off camera first, bring in all the pieces, and then start to arrange the idea. So let me go cut a bunch of Concord and Ninth cardstock, and I'll be back with florals laid out, and we'll begin. So I basically decided to follow this color palette. And here's the thing, when you get something and it has a sample on the back and it's the first time you're using it, don't hesitate, mix something up. I'm going to use a different color of cardstock for my base and I didn't get quite all the colors. I, I just went with more of like a, this is juniper and sea glass. So I'm going more with a little bit of an oceany color from my leaves, but I'm gonna push these all up out of the way for now. We're not gonna glue yet because I cut my envelope. So I have the little envelope here and it's gonna all fold in on itself. But what I need to do is I love the look of the little envelope liner. And I just really want to have that in my card. So I'm gonna put this in my Misty. And I have my waffle flower grip mat holding that in place. And also I grabbed a magnet board just to keep all of my dies together. Oftentimes I will not store a, bit, a set like this on a panel because a lot of times you can just take it out, keep a magnet board and just be ready to go by putting them all on. But it's kind of how I keep track. Also, I prefer the black ones. These are from Stampin' Storage and they just aren't as sticky with the white. I don't know why. Sticky meaning mag magnety. I am gonna take my liner and we're just gonna line it up right here with that nice little border. See, I'm planning to probably have fewer flowers than on the sample, but again, you don't really know till you get there, right? So we're gonna pick this up and I'm going to prime this with my finger, just rub over the stamp to get that manufacturer coating off. It just makes it stamp better. And I've pulled the pebble pad because I am going to put this on a pebble cardstock base. So I thought it'd be cute to have it match. So let's stamp with pebble like that, ink it up and come down, transfer. And of course the Concord and Ninth inks really do dry back beautifully. And so it will look lighter than what I am stamping here right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and get it two times. My pad is very, very juicy and new. And press, transfer, again, use my little stamp press and let that smooth out. So I will clean this off. And I'm not gonna fold this quite yet because I wanna give it a little chance to dry. So let's lift this up. And that's gonna be the inside of my note card. Actually, I just realized that I stamped it on the wrong side. I needed to stamp it here. I wonder if I could salvage that. Oh, I think I can because the fold, the way the folds go. Okay, you know what? It's a good day when you realize that what you are doing is actually still gonna work. Did I get that in the right place though? It's a little off. Is anyone gonna notice? Yeah, I'm gonna redo it. Hold tight. Let's try that again. So this is the outside, this is the inside, and that, my friends, because I want the part that comes like that to be the part that folds. So you wanna flip it over. Now I can line this up and, yeah, that'll be good. Okay, it was just a little off, you know? And if you've got the time, stamp it out. <laughs> you know, what else are you gonna do? All right, we're gonna transfer this 
and I will do a second layer again, and then we will let this dry back and smooth out. Great. All right, moving on. While this is drying back, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut out a hello and a, do I want to do hello lovely or hello friend? I think I'm going to do hello friend because I think that's a little more generic. And I'm going to use this leftover piece from another card project of Simon Says Stamp Matte Silver cardstock. So let me cut that out. I think these uh, cooler tones would look nice with silver. Actually, I want to show you this thing. This is so weird, but have you ever done your manicure at home with metallic polishes and you hold your, uh, you put the polish on and you put a magnet over it and it makes your polish zip into the center? It's a, irregardless. <laughs> I know that's not a word. Also, that's from having a blood draw. So please, please ignore the, the you know. All right, here's the thing. I love this because these magnets, they're super cheap, okay? Not expensive. And look at how easily it just, it picks up your die. And then look, it doesn't always pop out like this, but I'm like, I found I found this while I was cleaning and it's just a very strong magnet. It has magnet on both sides, so you can pick it up. I'm gonna link uh, just a basic one from Amazon that you can get. They're very inexpensive, but if you don't like to bend and do your mats or pick your fingers. You can just like, when these are on, you can pick up dies. Of course, really big ones are gonna probably take a little more, but it's just for manicures that I don't do. So there's a cool tool. I am going to cut out, oh, let's see. Maybe I will do two more layers out of pebble because that is what my base is going to be. And I don't want these to look uh, I don't want the, there to be white card stock on a base that is pebble. So I'll cut a few more of these out and glue them together. So off camera, I glued Hello Lovely to two layers of the pebble card stock just to give it a little more dimension. And I did it off camera because I actually used spray glue for this. And when I use spray glue, I wear a mask. I'm migrating away from spray glue, but for really delicate little greetings, that can be really a great way to do it. So what I want to do, let's see if I can get these up and out of the way, is I'm gonna make my note card just so I can get a feel for the color. And again, this is pebble. And now if you'll see, how much of a nice match that is once this dries and smooths. All right, so we're gonna score this at five and a half inches, and this piece of cardstock measures 11 inches by four and a quarter inches, so it's just half of an eight and a half by 11 sheet of the pebble. And then I'll just give this a nice press with my Teflon bone folder like that. So this is going to be my card base instead of doing blue, but before I start arranging, I'm going to use the score lines here, and this is where it's kind of cool. You've got all the lines that are going to help you score, well, they're already scored, and fold your envelope, right, to bring this together. And then we have our little piece at the bottom here, and that's going to fold down and come up like this. So we have this little envelope that's ready to go. I am going to grab some double-sided strong adhesive for this so I can glue this together. So I've just got a little piece here of terrific tape. And I think what I'm going to do is I don't, you know what, I might put a little bit down here. So these are going to come in first and I'm going to say you going to be over on this side just enough to hold it down same thing on the other side I can't really tear this very well so I'm just gonna cut it with my scissors and again you're on that side like that so that will come down and then we will glue the other right on top All right so release the backers like that and bring that down here and here. That way this will stay nicely there. And now I'm just gonna do a little piece on each one of the 
flaps, but not glue any on the uh, on this part because I, I don't want that to be covered up with adhesive. All right, these little envelopes are just so cute. They're so cute. All right, so again, release the backers. I love pen blades for this because they're thin and they get right underneath. You just have to be careful that you don't hurt yourself. And hold that down. And now my envelope is ready for the front of my card. I don't know if I'm gonna pop this up. I probably will, but I will tell you. Let's see, do I wanna pop it up a little? I might, but I'm gonna put on some music and glue some of the floral pieces together and try to figure out a general arrangement. This always takes me, I'm, I'm gonna try not to look at the packaging now, although I may go back and look at it. So let's speed this up and make it come together. That is the front of my card. Now, you didn't really end up seeing much of that inside at all. I think I did sort of cover the whole thing up, but you know what? I think that's fine. And actually, oh, I've got foam, foam squares are going crazy here. Actually, I think that's fine. I mean, this is just something that you could do pretty much anything in. Now all I have to do is figure out my placement and I might actually see, I wonder if I can say, Will Hello Lovely work on, you know, I might even just do a hello right at the bottom here like that. I could come off a little and do the Hello Lovely, but you know, I think I spaced it in such a way that I don't think that's going to work. Although, let's see, if I went Hello, well, now my fingers are sticky. Hold on, we're going to get it. Hello. Yeah, you know what? I am just gonna do hello on this card. I think that's so fun, right? It's just a little, it's a little envelope full of goodness. So let's add a little liquid glue here. And we are almost ready to call this card done. I don't think I will put anything else on here. I don't think I will do any enamel dots, even though I have enamel dots that will match perfectly. But I think, I think this is going to be good just on its own. I'm going to let my liquid glue just get a little tacky. And I always wipe the tip of my bottle off every time I'm done. Hit it on the counter and where's my pen? Throw my pen back in. Now I can't find my pen. Oh, there it is. Also, there is a woman who sells these pens with beads. This is not the new version. I'm going to put her email in. She just takes orders via email if you like this. I've used the same one from her for like two years and it works so well. 
Um, yeah, they're great. I don't know, she, I, she does not have an Etsy shop, but now here, let's just pop our hello right on the card, more off center like this. Make sure that looks straight, yeah. And I'm gonna put a brick on this and let that adhere. All right, I'm gonna lift this up. I, I just wanted to see, because I do have a few, not all, but I have a few dot colors and I wonder, I'll just take these out real quick to see. I wonder if a couple little dots would be cute on here in the pebble. But this is where I don't wanna overdo something that isn't needed. But here's the beautiful thing with these dots. You can do, uh, I'll show you here. You can take one off, put it on your craft pick, right? And let's say you decide you wanna try uh, maybe one here. Just kind of get it off the stick. Drop it. Come on, get off my stick. My stick's a little... And don't press really hard, okay? Don't press hard. Just kind of drop it down. Oh, come on, my fingers are really sticky. Kind of just drop it down and place one down. And then if you want, you can just scrape them right back up. And you don't have to use them but you could if you wanted to. You know, I don't actually think this needs anything like this. I just think it looks so cute by itself. So I think, although I don't know. See, here's what's beautiful. You can move them, right? Get that, get that up a little. Because until you really press hard, you are not gonna have them adhere quite yet. So you can do, you can do a little playing around like that. Oh, but then they get very sticky, so you want to be mindful. Get you there. I like there to be uh, a little bit of an order. Oh my gosh. I am trying to make fetch happen because I think these are very cute. I think you know what I mean. And then over here, we could just do... Oh, come here now. Go uh, one and a tiny. These tinies are so stinking cute. In fact, I don't know if it would have been cuter to just say, you know, put them in the center, but look at that. I actually think in the center of the flowers, that would have been cute too. You know what? I like this. I'm going to press them down. I guess I could have booped them down. I didn't. I could have, but I think those are very cute. And I feel like I don't use dots very often. And then what I think I would like to do to finish this card out, let's open it up, okay, like that. I am going to use the magnets here on my little friend just to hold this in place. And I think I'm gonna say, you've been on my mind. Or I hope you know how much you're loved. I think I'm gonna do, you've been on my mind. I think that's a really nice greeting. Uh, I guess I will just pick it up with this, my Simon block. Prime it a little. I'm gonna free range stamp this, so we are rolling the dice. But, ooh, what was on my fingers? Something's on my fingers. Actually, we can do a little sample. We can do a little sample here. Do I have any paper? I do. This is what I like to do. I like to test first, right? This is a very, very delicate little greeting. I'm gonna stamp once over here. It's not bad. I think it needs to be stamped a couple of times just to kind of get it primed. I could use my Misty, but every now and then, I just want to finish something and I just want to stamp free range, <laughs> which is that's how they used to do it in the olden times. So let's just do that. You've been on my mind. Go for it, Kathy, believe in yourself. Stamp, hold it, and lift. I think that looks nice. And that is my inside greeting. And here is my card with that fun bouquet on the front. Woo, that was fun. Okay, now I'm gonna go take a nap. Thanks so much for watching today. You can find all the supplies that I used for today's card project with the visual supply link that you will find in the description box.
If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you. So hit that subscribe button and I will see you back here with another card project soon.